Hadassah Medical Center on Mount Scopus in Jerusalem is known throughout the world for its state-of-the-art treatment and excellence in curing and caring. But not many people know that the University Hospital is also a haven for peace and harmony, as we see in this report. When they're not treating children in this ward of Hadassah Hospital on Mount Scopus in Jerusalem, doctors David Zangin and Abdul Salem Abu Libde collaborate on cutting edge research, helping to solve some of the many mysteries of pediatric endocrinology. That's an area of medicine which deals with glands and hormones in children. But their work together symbolizes something much deeper. Dr. Zangin is an observant Israeli Jew who for many years was a senior medical officer in the army. Dr. Salem Abu Libde is a Muslim Palestinian who studied his profession in Syria, resides in East Jerusalem, and also works for hospitals in Ramallah and elsewhere in the Palestinian Authority. Both doctors said that at Hadassah, the commitment to healing makes race or creed irrelevant. You know, it's not special. We are all human beings. So a sick Arab child or a sick Jewish child is a sick children, and we are here to help them. When you see Jewish doctors giving the kind of treatment that they give here at the hospital to Arabs from East Jerusalem or Palestinians, does that do anything for you inside in your heart? Uh, the truth is I get used to this treatment, that both of us, that you give treatment to both, uh, to both sides. So I will check uh, any, anyone in the emergency room, and I treat them the same. And uh, I expect the opposite, and as they do, that they treat them the same. Their collaboration is far from unique at Hadassah. In fact, there is an enormous Arab presence here, including both medical staff and patients. We have our priorities right, and in this hospital, people walk in and can suspend their political views. They can kind of move a switch and elicit their best self. They elicit their selves for healing. They elicit the selves that care about human life. And if, if anything, that's a lesson and a model for all of us who function outside of the hospital as well. Dr. Abu Libda says that working at Hadassah gave his career an enormous boost. I started here as, uh, uh, as a resident, a uh, pediatric resident. I have, uh, uh, I'm certified as a pediatrician certified pediatrician from the Israel Medical Council, from the Palestinian Medical Council, from the Jordanian Medical Council. I have the opportunity to have a PhD in pediatric endocrinology, to be certified officially from Hadassah Hospital, and to be certified from the Palestinian Authority as a pediatrician. I can have a career, I have colleagues to cooperate and uh, to improve. Dr. Zangin said he hopes Dr. Abu Libda and others will take further advantage of their experience at Hadassah to promote changes in their own communities. I very much try to stimulate my colleagues from the Palestinian Authority and from Gaza to be producers also, not only to learn to do the clinical work, but to be producers, to be leaders. As somebody becomes a leader, he has something to create further and to build and to construct in his own society. Truth is, Hadassah Hospital wasn't always this peaceful. In 1948, a convoy of 78 doctors, nurses, and medical students were murdered on their way to the hospital in an Arab ambush, one of the bloodiest slaughters in pre-state history. The hospital's PR director, Barbara Sofer, showed us the memorial garden dedicated to the victims of that attack. We have no illusions about the dangers. We had to close Mount Scopus in 1948 and only reopened it after the Six-Day War. But I want to say that the very same day in, in, in April 13, 1948, or during the Intifada, there was never a day, there was never an hour in which a patient was refused treatment in this hospital. And that has always been the theme here. Some people say that's naive. I don't think it's naive. I think that, that those are the values of Hadassah, uh, are our Jewish values, are the values of the state of Israel. And I feel proud of those values. This is Jonathan Elkins for Israel Up Close.